sometimes we all need to get away and escape the hustle and bustle of our everyday lives. Of course, if movies and television are to be believed, there will soon come a day where you will literally have to get away and escape from hordes of the undead flesh-eating zombies roaming the streets and countryside. It might sound a little crazy, but nowadays a scientific mistake can allow anything to happen, so it doesn't really matter if you believe in the Walking Dead invasion or not. In the case that a zombie apocalypse does actually occur, make sure you remember Remember these 10 zombie proof houses located all around the world because one day they could actually save your life. Let's get it on! Ice Palace if you're truly worried that the outbreak will happen any day now, you can purchase the Lons Delay estate in the town of St. Moritz in Switzerland right now. This absolutely massive mountainside mansion is the most strategic spot in the world to ride out a zombie invasion. But don't be fooled by the mundane glass exterior. While on the outside it may just look like a regular old house, this $185 million mega mansion actually has seven stories, most of them securely tucked underground. This ice palace this, of course, has more than enough room for tons of supplies, gigantic bedrooms for you to sleep comfortably underground, exotic showers, and even a 24 karat gold plated closet in case you want your bunker to be extra blinged out. On the lower levels, accessible by elevator, there's a private ski lodge. Yes, you heard that right. Plus a high end hot tub to keep you warm while the zombies face the bitter cold outside. The best part is probably the colossal garage, carved from the stone of the mountain outside, going several floors underground so you can store all your emergency escape vehicles. And if you ever need to make a speedy exit, the mansion is connected to a massive ski lift leading to its own private ski slopes. Actually, you could probably just go there to have fun. After all, you're living it up while the rest of the world is swarmed by the living dead. Sky Sphere of all the things zombies can do, there's one thing they definitely can't, and that's fly. Living on the ground would put you at risk of being overrun by zombies, but life among the clouds would probably be the safest bet you've got. A New Zealand-based treehouse lover has the next best thing, the Sky Sphere, located in Linton, New Zealand. The Sky Sphere has an elevated, custom-made home of the future, with everything from projection movies that can play on the huge wraparound windows to a robot that'll dispense soda cans to you right in the couch, so you can save your energy for fighting off the hordes of undead below. If you ever go down there, that is. The structure is completely solar powered, so you don't have to worry about the electrical grid shutting down. Plus, you can even charge your phone throughout the apocalypse, which is important considering the house is controlled through an app on your phone. To add to all of that, there's even a special zombie mode. Zombie mode. Doors are closing. Which barricades the doors with nothing more than a touch of the screen. Cave Bunker when you think of futuristic zombie defenses, the last thing you'd probably imagine is the first homes of the earliest humans. But it turns out our ancestors might have had the right idea, or at least that's what the owners of Beckham Creek Cave Lodge thought when they turned an old cave in the middle of Arkansas into a nuclear bomb shelter during the Cold War. Over the years, the fear of a nuclear winter died down a bit, but the chance of a zombie outbreak seems to be rising by the day, so a new setup was definitely needed. Looking at the lodge from certain angles, you might might mistake it for a run-of-the-mill mansion, with its luxurious marble countertops, high vaulted ceilings, and four luxurious bedrooms with hardwood ceilings. But look a little closer and you'll realize this extravagant home is built into incredibly solid rock. Since the 1990s, designer Zach Ness has put in over $2 million of work into the bunker home and its over 250 acres surrounding lot. Add on to that its very hidden location, and this nuke-proof cave has everything you need to ride out the zombie apocalypse in the lap of luxury. Habitat 67 what you're seeing is not a scene from Inception or Doctor Strange, but rather a nearly impenetrable zombie-proof fortress. <laughs> Welcome to Habitat 67, located in Montreal, Canada. Originally designed as a master's thesis in architecture, the bizarrely laid out building is one of the most confusing places in the world. The core of this unusual structure, as it's not too difficult to guess, is a bunch of cubes. To be precise, 346 different concrete boxes organized to be able to be stable while still very difficult to navigate. Once you've figured out the layout, there's no way that a pack of zombies could ever find you. 
even if they somehow manage to get into the fortified concrete structure. With 12 complex mazes of stories, you're sure to be safe if you can manage to not get lost yourself. Plane House in case of a zombie apocalypse, it's good to be able to move around, but it's also hugely important to have a well-guarded shelter to keep you safe, such as the issue for most survivors, but not for whoever is lucky enough to make it to the plane house. It might be a little hard to reach, but that's also one of the advantages of this unusual hidden home. Originally a Boeing 727, the massive passenger airplane has been hollowed out and turned into a very lengthy living quarters, complete with its own kitchen, bed, and even showers with running water. The Boeing plane has a retractable stairway entrance, so you can easily enter and make sure nothing else can get in after you, which is pretty useful when trying to get away from a mob of zombies. Plus, the hard metal exteriors of planes are made to withstand harsh weather, huge changes in air pressure, and even crash landings, so a few zombies trying to bite at it won't do much damage at all. Missile Silo Home Back during the Cold War, the United States built massive missile silos to house nuclear missiles, which were graded to survive a direct nuclear blast. Of course, that never happened, but they didn't just tear down the structures. Instead, in 1996, one of many silos was sold to an Australian architect who redesigned the apocalypse-proof underground cave, now free of any nukes, into a cozy 185-foot-deep apocalypse-proof home. If you can make your way to upstate New York, near the former plaza Air Force Base, you'll find a house and former missile silo that now claims to be one of the most protected underground residences in the world. In this 52 feet in diameter silo, there's a living room, bedroom, and even a kitchen where you can make a home-cooked meal in the midst of a zombie apocalypse. The concrete cylinder in which the home is now located in can last for several centuries, but just remember, this thing can withstand a nuclear strike and has several floors of storage space for all the supplies needed in case of the end of the world, so a few zombies won't even make a dent in the fortified metal entrance. If you do manage to make your way here, just know you're in good hands. Mountaintop Retreat of all the places zombies will probably be when the inevitable zombie apocalypse is upon us, the Swiss Alps are probably not one of them. That's why the On Mountain Top Hut is likely the most zombie-proof house around. Located atop a massive mountain 2,500 meters in the sky, only the most skilled of climbers can even make it to the front door, so you'll be safe not just from zombies, but also any other human being not properly equipped. The minimalist hut has enough room for two people, so you and your survivor best friend can stay safe during the apocalypse. The land around the hut provides you with everything you need, with a river of clean glacial water located right outside. Of course, mountaintops get pretty cold, but the insulated cabin was built to keep any inhabitants nice and warm, even in the toughest of blizzards. The mountaintop location doesn't just provide a great view, which it totally does, but also a perfect vantage point, letting you see for miles around you, so you'll know if any zombie gets anywhere even remotely close. Now that you'll have to worry too much. After all, it's a long climb to your perfectly zombie-proofed hut. Underground Village if civilization were to collapse, it's unlikely you could rebuild the whole thing by yourself. Well, thankfully, a small town located deep in the outback down under has prepared exactly what you need to rebuild society from the ground up. Literally. The town of Cooper Petty is a rich opal mining site bustling with activity. But if you were to look at the town from above, you might think there was nothing there. But change your perspective a little. After all, you are in Australia, and you'll find a town with a population of over 70 1,500 people living entirely underground. During the day, the harsh outback sun can cause temperatures above 36 degrees Celsius, so the residents of this small mining community dig their homes out from the earth itself, sometimes living in swanky four-bedroom homes, completely safe from the unrelenting solar radiation raining down from above. There's even an entire motel carved into the ground, so there will be more than enough beds for your entire survivor community. While you'll be able to stay safe from the scorch rays, I doubt the zombies will be so lucky. Mirror House 
Have you ever wanted the power to be invisible? Well, with the zombie apocalypse about to take place, when has there ever been a better time? This incredible house in Sweden can get you about as close as anyone to that seemingly impossible dream. One of several unique rooms in Sweden, including a giant bird's nest and a UFO house, the mirror cube is made of special reflective material that makes it blend right in with the scenic Swedish forest around it. It's a surprising hideaway nestled between trees and camouflaged with mirrors reflecting the surroundings. Luckily for all you survivors out there, the treehouse can only be accessed via a suspension rope bridge, making it completely zombie-proof if somehow the zombies actually do catch up to you. This unique and exclusive zombie getaway features beds built into holes in the walls, ladders leading to a rooftop balcony with 360-degree views of the surroundings, and even a bedside window leaving you one step ahead of everyone else. Overall, it's the ideal treehouse escape for survival, which makes it a pretty solid option for stylish and comfortable safety against the undead. Island Escape Probably one of the worst things about a zombie apocalypse is that zombies never sleep, so no matter where you go, they'll never stop chasing you. Probably one of the best things, however, is that although they can walk, zombies can't swim. But while a boat needs fuel and can only carry so many supplies before needing to dock, Freedom Cove is a perfectly self-sustaining, floating complex surrounded by a garden with everything you need far away from the land that'll be totally overrun with zombies. Located in Tofino, Canada, it's designed and inhabited by a couple of Canadian artists, Catherine King and Wayne Adams. The idea was to live sustainably without being tracked by man, or in this case, zombies, because of their desire to not need to rely on anyone else. Today, the 12 interconnected floating platforms hold different rooms, as well as a workshop, garden, sculptures, and even a dance floor, you know, in case boredom kicks in. Freedom Cove is also thankfully powered by generators located on the floating mat island, with all the food you could ever need grown in gardens all around the structure. As long as you can make it onto Freedom Cove before the zombies, and granted that you don't get seasick, this colorful floating home is the perfect place to ride out the end of the world. Hey, you still there? Well, since you made it this far, here are all the shoutouts we promised everyone that commented on our previous video. If you want to be shouted out in our next upcoming video as well as the ones prior, just make sure you're subscribed to the channel and leave a comment down below saying, pick me. Once you're at it, you might as well leave a like too. So what was your favorite house from the list? Would you stay in any of these during a possible zombie apocalypse? Let me know down in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.